Hi everyone. Today I will show you Yokomen Uchi, Kesagiri, and Tsuki. There are three very fundamental strikes. In my previous video, I showed you a Shomen Uchi, Yokomen Uchi, Shomen Uchi, and Tsuki form the basis of all strikes. When you master these basic strikes, you can do more advanced movements. Then we can really start to have some fun. Okay, let's begin. Today we are at uh, Tokyo Station in Yamanote Line. Let's practice. This is a sword strike that cuts diagonally from the head to the chin. We will start with short stance, using mainly your left hand. It should feel like shomen uchi, except the sword is diagonal when you bring it down. When you bring it down, make sure you do not lose your chushin. Remember to use teno uchi. When cutting the right side, it is common to put too much strength into your right hand. This is incorrect and you will not get a clean strike. Make sure that your left hand is the primary hand moving the sword. Just like a shomen uchi, yokomen uchi is a fundamental strike you should master. It is excellent for building your core and improving your chushin or center. Please practice it often. Now, let's try it with a wider stance. The motion is the same. Your left hand is the main hand. Make sure to maintain chushin. Your sword should be at the 45 degree angle. Raise the sword at your center line. Bring it down, cutting from the shoulder down to the knees. When you bring it down, your left hand should stop in front of your tandem. Remember to use tenouchi. Your left foot should be at a 45 degree angle. If you make your foot straight, then you have shomen uchi. It is same except your sword moves at a 45 degree angle. Check that the motion is the same and you should feel your chushin. Next, do the kesagiri from shoulder to navel. You can practice these two together. Let's do it. Your left hand passes through your center line. Swing down as your leg moves. Make sure your sword is also at an angle. It should not be pointing straight down. When you cut from the left side down, your left leg is forward and vice versa for the right side. Next, let's work on the angle. When you get the basic kesagiri down, you can change up your angle. For example, the outside of the shoulder, the side of the abdomen. What is important is your left hand passes through your center line and stops in front of your tandem. Make sure to master as you learn kesagiri. First, Hold the sword with your left hand only in front of your tandem. Your right hand is on your abdomen. Stretch your left leg back. When you step forward thrust with your left hip, use your tandem and the entire back to thrust.
Next, raise your right leg, put all your weight on your left leg, then thrust yourself with your left leg as you thrust your sword. Again, you want to thrust with your left hip as you thrust the sword. Remember to use Teno Uchi. When you get used to it, practice it with big steps. This will build up your body strength. Next, from Seigan no Kamae, raise your right leg and thrust at the neck. When you get used to it, try it from a normal position. The motion should feel the same as before. Next, thrust at the solar plexus. Stretch your left leg and thrust using your left leg and hip. Finally, try it with a wider stance. Practice aiming for the throat and then for the solar plexus. Look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I. Hi, today we practice near of Imperial Palace Over there, it's called Kokyo. It's near at uh, Tokyo Station in Yamanote Line. There is a park around here. Okay. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, please subscribe and uh, hit like and comment below. Okay. See you next time. Bye bye.